Buddhism teaches that there's no really a self. You feel that uh, you have this illusion that uh, there's a self that you can protect, that you can wield, uh, uh, protected, uh, secured, uh, and but the ultimately through really practicing meditation and spiritual discipline, you realize that uh, this self is just illusion, it's a simply a fictitious entity, and then you begin to lose this uh, attachment to the illusion of self. And in such a moment, you realize that you are actually one with uh, everybody. You're one with the people who have uh, died a thousand years ago. You're one with the, the people in the future, the future generation. And therefore, you began to have this uh, uh, genuine caring and compassion and as well as moral responsibility and to take care of environment and to make sure that you do the right thing uh, in terms of uh, not polluting your environment uh, so the future generation can have a better world to live, a world that uh, is free from war, free from social injustice, free from dictators and oppressors. There's no place where the God isn't, right? By definition, we kind of think of God as omnipresent. I mean, it's right here, right now. It's in you and it's around you. And if you're not seeing it, it's not because it's not there. It's because you're not looking. So being awakened means seeing the living presence, recognizing it within you and around you. And when everybody connects with this, when everybody realizes the spirit that they are, and they see spirit guiding them, they see the presence of the divine in the eyes of everyone they see, then they won't want to kill them or lie to them or cheat to them. You see, we're not going to have to identify with our culture, our religion, and all these things. We're going to see there's one God. There's one creator. We're all part of the same living organism.